All right, sounds good, Matinka. Well, you'll want to get out today and take advantage of the sunshine. It's time for hy Get Growing with Jerry Kluver. Hi, Jerry. Good morning, Amanda. You having a good Memorial Day weekend? Oh, I got a big weekend plan. Work. <laughs> this is going to be a great weekend to be at the Garden Center. And uh, been out already this morning, deadheading my roses, watering the tomatoes. And so let's get growing and let's get some emails answered. All right, let's start with Nicole from Osceola. She asked, Jerry, what product should I spray my fruit trees with to keep bugs from attacking the fruit on the trees? I would walk right up to a shelf and get some fruit tree spray and spray about every three weeks, clear up until harvest. Now that brings up a question. Mm -hmm. If you've got a dialon sprayer that we've been promoting, you know, to kill hard weeds, sure. you're going to want to make sure you... Uh, clean it out with some good old high bee baking soda. Oh, Three gotcha. tablespoons of that in there, slush it around, and if you got time, leave it sit 24 hours. If not, run it through the sprayer. Of course, this operates with a garden hose. Remember, folks, this is a fertilizer sprayer. This is a chemical insecticide sprayer. So you need high bee baking soda to neutralize it so you don't go killing the fruit tree in her case. Yeah, that would not be okay. good. All right, Teresa from Des Moines wants to know, in 2007, I transplanted a hybrid hibiscus from my mother's yard when she passed away. It has done beautifully every year. We plan on moving. Can I dig up some of the root after it flowers and have it grow in a clay pot? I would take and go ahead and dig it up, and we want it to live for, no doubt, this is a sentimental deal. And you want to uh, dig it up, but I'd like to see it have its final resting place in the ground other than a pot. So that's your answer. Go ahead and dig it up right after, after it's done blooming. Take a lot of dirt with it. Yes. All right. They've been showing us some of the plants that you brought along. Some beautiful stuff out here. Mums, all this for sale at hy Rigor. Oh, yes. They're all available. Very. All right. Great. All right. Uh, Cheryl and Gilman has this question. Jerry, only two of my four hibiscus plants have sprouted. How long should I wait before replacing them? Well, these hardy hibiscus, there's a tropical hibiscus that everybody's got on their patio and decks. But this is a hardy hibiscus. And be a little more patient because some of them don't even come up or show life till about the 15th of June. Now, some are up already, and that's fine and start fertilizing them, but be a little patient because they're going to come up here by June 15th. If not, go out and get you a new hardy hibiscus and plant it. All right, and Doreen from Urbandale says, I want to move my tulips, but I want to plant other flowers where they are currently located. Can I dig them up now and then replant them in the fall? Well, I would go ahead, just take and clean off all the bulb foliage, what have you, and then just plant your flowers right over the top. Then once the flowers, of course, freeze off in the fall, then you can go ahead and, and let the tulips come right up, the daffodils. So you don't have to take the bulbs out of the ground if you don't want to. Leave them in the ground, put your annuals down four or five inches, and they're going to be fine. All right. And Stephanie in Altoona has this problem. She says, I have a squirrel that's digging up the plants I just planted. What do I do to stop them from doing this? I've tried hot pepper flakes in the soil, but that doesn't seem to stop them. When I left my house this morning, there's three squirrels playing in the tree. And of course, they like to get up there and just cut off branches and all. And in her case, go ahead and use Repel. I would reach for Repel on the shelf. It comes in a ready-to-use or a granule. You put that down, and I know you've tried the hot pepper. You try Repel, and I'll bet you the little guys are going to leave you alone. All right, and Linda from Glidden says, Jerry, I have an autumn blaze tree. The leaves turn yellow, get brown around the edges, and fall very early in the season. I've used fertilizer sticks, but see no change. Can you help me? I want you to go back to that fertilizer stake, and I got a feeling you're not using enough of them. Go out about four feet from the trunk, and you put about six of those miracle Grow tree and shrub spikes in the ground. You hammer them down below the grass, and you're going to be a different looking tree here in the next year. All right. And Patty in Des Moines, what can I plant in a small flower bed that the rabbits won't eat? I tried <laughs> petunias and marigolds, but they eat them almost overnight. Do you have any suggestions on what I can plant or put in the soil to keep them Anyway, or keep them away. You betcha. You go ahead and use Repel again, and then you get Bonanza, Bonanza marigolds. They will not eat Bonanza marigolds. I've proved it in my own yard. All right, you sounds bet. good. Well, if you have a question, uh, gardening or growing questions, lawn or garden, Jerry's yeah. expert at all of it, you can send Jerry an email. Just go to hy .com and click on the Get Growing logo, and he'll be back in next week to answer more of your questions. Thanks, have a great Jerry. weekend gardening, and happy holiday. You too. Thank you. Coming up next, see how a special little boy is bringing people together to fight a fatal syndrome that affects too many Iowa families.